Hello everyone and welcome back to a new GTA San Andreas episode. In the last episode we break up with Catalina and thank god I just could not accept her in any mold. She is not a fine woman. She isn't. Absolutely isn't. And we did a lot of racing in the last episode. It was too easy to be honest I didn't have any competitors I just drove a car that's it in today's episode we're gonna go to the peace man or the karma guy I don't know what he wants so let's jump right into it That was kind of sick, not gonna lie. No way. Don't get... For fuck's sake. Are you going to San Fierro? Huh? Oh no. Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. Back there. Thanks, man. Look, here go your paper. Ah, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. Three... Rama... What the fuck's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chopper. Oh, man, narcs, you fucking rat. Huh? Dude, don't put that on me. You the one deal with Ten Penny. What's all this? All oh, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. Oh no. Go on, help the truth to destroy the weed. Alright. Dude, it's all going down. Fuck those. It's about to go down, bitches. It's a crying shame, ain't it? No, I mean, I think I'm gonna black out. Fight the ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Go get her fired up. I'll finish burning and I'll follow you. If I can, I can all walk straight. We got a chopper on our tail. We'll never shake them now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. For a rainy day? What do you have? Holy motherfucker. What? Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. I'm what the fuck? It all right. You know what happens? Big boom. Boom. Uh, not on me, not on me. <laughs> Nice. That was 
That helicopter was high, not me. I'm just crazy. I need to drive the motor back. What you pull over for? You better Piero. drive. I haven't driven in 15 years. You was doing all right? Yeah. Then the fear hit me. Now I'm rolling a number to calm the waves. Oh no. Shit! I better call Caesar. Hey Caesar, no time to talk, man. I'm on my way to San Fierro, okay? I'll meet you and Kendall at that garage I wanted the races. I'll let y'all later. Dude, I'm still high. And this hey, you wanna hit on this? A little temple chairs and a cocktail with some Naples munga munga. Huh? Put that thing out, man. I can't see. Pull them out, brother. It's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. Whoa, chill the fuck out. Firstly, you are a real buzz killer, amigo. And secondly, I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. What? And thirdly, we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fake. Uh, I... I don't really hey, this thing ain't going any faster? Man, we got three tons of grass on board. The engine what? block is held together with a macrame hammock and it's running on 15-year-old cooking oil. Shit, can you shoot? Shoot, I'm a heavy. The only thing I've shot is acid. I heard about this too snorty it was. Thought his nose was a kangaroo and the moon was a dog. Woo! Dude, this thing is like a barrel, What's for real. For, you, man? Protection from mind control, dude. Huh? Mind control? Induction of images, sound or emotion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any moment? No. 23. Do you know how many religious relics are kept at the Pentagon? No, I don't. 23. Huh? You see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke out my face. What the fuck? There she is, brother. San Fierro, a city of psychedelic wonders. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. There ain't a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Fierro, where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Fierro, between Garcia and Easter Basin. Perfect. Um, this is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. Dude, I need more paper, god damn it. Wear flowers in your hair. Am I still high? Motherfucker! That mute asshole! That fucking snake without a tongue gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Carl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. Ow. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name. And for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? Jeez. You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. Oh. You're still high. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. I hope. Yeah. Man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. It seems like. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Alright. 
It's kind of weird. What the fuck is that? Hey man, how you meet that? these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year 11, apparently. Huh? Apparently. You know how it is, man. Field of tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Polar yeah, bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Dang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Ah, caps lock to sound car horn. All right. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth, dude. Oh man, do do I owe you? Cause I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District, west of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? Huh? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent. If I remember it right. Yeah, that was like so far gone. Dude, we just asked for help for our oh for our garage. What the fuck do you tell about polar bears shitting in a liquor tent? There's no logic. My driving is logical. And parking right here. What we here for anyway? Nothing. Huh? Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Yep. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes <laughs> it's best to stay in the dark, kid. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. You're high, crazy, and old. Oh. Dude, Honk. Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, Come on cool, in. man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. All right. Um. Okay. Next stop, cop station downtown. Doris. What? You watch your mom. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that space shit, man. Yup. I mean, why? First of all, why do you want to take down a pole with a hot dog car? Or van, whatever it is. Second of all, why the fuck do I need to go to the police? After what happened with Tempenny, that asshole. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. What's the picture point? of pink golf ball in your mind? Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? Yep. There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop. But he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Who was him doing? Go Don't go there. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janice Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. What the fuck am I playing, my man? It's 
snake lizard headed oil fucking gun. What the what are you speaking? Speak human. Oh uh, what? Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. What's oh, Berkeley? hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Dude, it has an RC Carl, helicopter. Zero, zero, I Carl. want that. Sup? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I, I want told that him RC you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, Dude. I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. Okay, we here. Yep. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, yeah. dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no accounts. <laughs> Idiot property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property <laughs> development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. Hey, <laughs> man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> you cannot with this. Well, we met a lot of people, but next mission. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Yep. Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. Huh? I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing um. by. Um. Um. Do you need help? Um. All right. That's a normal day in San Fierro, I think. Um. Next mission. <laughs> five, five, five. We did. Carl, how San Fierro? It's fucked up. Yup. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble. Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give We Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker! The code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? <laughs> he's at the Van Kauf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. Why is Tim Penny helping me? The DA is on his way to the Van Kauf Hotel in downtown Sefiro. Get over there now. Well, I know what to do. Maybe not. Mm. Let me just borrow this car. Hey, I'm sorry. All right, it is a normal car. This hotel operates a valet service. The DA will be dropping his car off here shortly. Hold the wallet to the underground park and race him. Make sure no one is around. All right. Yeah, Don't honk me! Come on, move! Pedestrians! Look at this bitch! No, never. Bye, lady. Dude, if I haven't died, I will bust the cap on his head. Oh, take him down? Target acquired. Done. Oh, I'm taking money first. Fuck that. You don't need this no more. Zach. 
Oh hell no, what the fuck dude? I mean, I killed him, but why does he have to wear that? I mean, it, it, it's disgusting. That doesn't matter, drones matter. Ah, you must be the new boy, get in line. All right. The DA is driving a blue merit, remember it. Make sure none of the other vans service his car first. A blue merit. I think this car. Hmm. Identify and enter the DA's car when it arrives. Alright. You guys are twin brothers? It seems like. Not this one. It isn't this one. It said it was blue. So what you doing? No? Nothing? Alright. Yeah, this is not blue. You can go. What you looking at me like that? You motherfucker. I think the next one is mine. I hope so. What the fuck when a woman shoots? He killed the police officer! Oh, this one is mine. Dude! Look at her! Parker over there! He's a maniac! Maniac! We're in the ace car, get over to the garage where the drugs will be planted. Alright. I was about to go underground the park yet, but it seems like I'm not doing that. Dude, you saw that woman? She was absolutely blasting! Alright, I'm here. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, kinda. I went straight into the garage, not sideways. The drugs are planted. Take the car to the police nope. park. Oh. I keep the car spotless or the or the DA will notice. But why Oh oh hell no. Oh no, this is fucking bullshit. I barely scratch it and I I need to go back and not scratch it. Not even just a tiny little little, little bit. No. I need to be cautious about my surroundings. And I hope no one will hit me. Going down the road. And I'm still driving. I don't give a fuck. I will still drive this car. Park the car into market parking space. Space. Um. Ah, oh, you guys don't bother me. I was just about to run you over. And call the cops. Look at this guy. They're all the same. Wait. Yeah, you're still the same. And you? I don't know if they are triplets. New day in San Fierro. Hello? This we tip? I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. Police! Don't move! Get out of the car with your hands in the air! All right. Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron. Shut up! You find Damn. anything back there? Chill. Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. What there do must you be mean? two tons of Mary here. What? But but I've never seen. Oh. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Damn, chill. It knocked the shit out of him. And why is he making reference to half of Mexico? God damn! Holy fuck! Alright everyone, this is gonna be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, leave a comment, share, subscribe, set the notification bell on all, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye! A 
can't believe. Fucking fuck. 